Knicks. Mr. Speaker, the toddler in chief who guides the USA with the wisdom of a turnip and a head that's stuffed with hay. I love the cheering and the clapping. This is the job that I was made for. So I'll read real slow and not ad lib and give them what they paid for. My first and maybe last State of the Union. The most incredible, most watched, dignified rally ever. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, yes, keep coming to my rallies. Sing my praises. Wear my hat. What I'm doing to the country? Oh, never mind all that. Remember, you elected me to dismantle all the rules. Screw the planet, screw the water, screw the helpless, screw the schools. I can say that right? Screw the schools? Yeah, okay. I love these guys. They never ever say I lied. If I did, Fox did too. What, I'm supposed to fact check? No, that's what losers do. My twitchy little fingers can't be stopped. It's not my fault. And it doesn't matter if I'm wrong because the rights now alt of course, courage and integrity could stop me in my tracks. But DC is full of cowards. And they've all got my back. What other choices do we have? The old white men all bleat. If we openly oppose him, why, we could lose our seats. As long as we all flatter him and give him mental candy, he'll sign off on our agendas will be just fine and dandy. I mean, it's not as though the toddler cares for issues or the state. As long as he can golf and tweet, America is great. Our elected Congress, he openly defied. They voted sanction Russia, 517 to five. But despite the law and constitution, Trump's duty, he denied. He did not sanction Russia. And I cannot describe the contempt I feel for the rapacity that protects and spreads his lies. These souls for sale, this pompous crowd, his GOP allies.